Pigpig hurried home as fast as he could, when who should he find in front of his house but Piglet? Hello, Pig. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to... Oh, oh. that is, I was trying to reach the n -n -n knocker. Let me do it for you. But Pooh, I found out what's troubling poor Eeyore. It's his birthday, and nobody has taken any notice of it. And he's very gloomy and, well, whoever lives here certainly takes a long time answering his door. But, 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 but Pooh, isn't this your house? Oh, so it is. Well, let's go in. Hmm, I must get poor Eeyore a present of some sort. Ah, honey. That should do very well. Oh, what are you going to give, Piglet? Couldn't I give it to you from b -b 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 both of us? No, Piglet, that would not be a very good plan. Perhaps I could give Eeyore a balloon. That, Piglet, is a very good idea. Nobody could be uncheered by a balloon. I have one at home. I'll go and get it right now. So off Piglet trotted in one direction. And in the other direction went Pooh with his jar of honey. However, Pooh hadn't gone very far when a very funny feeling began to creep over him. It began at the tip of his nose and trickled all the way down to the soles of his feet as if someone inside him was saying, Now then, Pooh, time for a little something. So Pooh had a little something. And then he had a little more. And a little more. Until he had taken his last lick from the inside of the jar. 